Dr. Sam Pajam, UCSF Medical School Clinical Faculty and the Director of Tri-Valley Pediatrics and the Creator of Asthma MD. When you open Asthma MD application for the first time, you will have to put some basic information for at least one user. Your personal information is secure and you have option to use password protection later in the setting for added security. First, you enter user's na first name, then last name, gender, and date of birth. By entering this information, AsthmaMD is able to predict your lung volume. We recommend to then go to the setting page and enter more of your information, such as email address, your password. This information is used to allow you to send a report to your doctor when you want and have access to AsthmaMD website, as well as adding protection to your application to safeguard your data. In order to add the password protection, you can you have to remember to press the done button on the bottom of each um, page after you enter the data. Starting with the choices under the management, we start with the triggers and you can add each trigger based on your sensitivity and your history depending on the type of asthma that you have. Once you've chosen the triggers that you have, you can also add custom ones if necessary. Now you can see the list of triggers and you can choose those later on as needed. For medications, you can do the same thing by adding a medication prescribed to you by your physician. After clicking each medication, you can choose the dosage and the frequency. And you can repeat this with every medication that has been prescribed to you. You only have to do this process one time and the application will remember your choices. And at the end, by pressing the Add, the medication list will appear. And from now on, you don't have to repeat entering these medications. Next, we try to put the recipients of the uh, graph or the diary at this point because these are the physicians and the specialists that you're planning to send your data to when you decide to do so. So please make sure their email addresses are secure prior to sending them the information. Enter your doctor's first name, last name, and email address. Press done and then save. And after doing so, the recipient's name will appear on the list. Back to the setting, at the bottom of the setting page, there are frequently asked questions and answers and information about asthma that you can use. Next, we're going to be entering data. First is by entering the information on the date, which is by default today's date, but you can always pick and choose that date as necessary. Next is the peak um, pulmonary function. And by that, as you change the numbers, you can notice the zone color changing. That, you can see the peak flow meter measurement on top. And this is your symptom list. You can look at the list of the symptoms and pick the worst symptom you have at the moment. I'll record it. Next is a trigger. These are the lists that you already picked on the setting page. And you can just check off the ones that you're experiencing at the moment. Next is the medications. You can choose the ones you're planning to take. And finally, you can review your list and press save. And this information is now into your diary and plotted on the graph. So first, let's look at the diary. This is how it appears. This is the information you just entered. You can list it by one week, one month, three months, or all the, medic all the information. And you can scroll down to the rest of them. And by clicking on each one, you can see all the detailed information. You can edit it as necessary. This would be what the graph would look like. Of course, we only have one point in time present, but you can also choose the duration of time and plot all the necessary data as you have entered it, which will show on the graph. Next, you can send this report. Again, you have the choice of picking the period of time that you're interested in, and then the recipient. And you can have multiple recipients, and you can put the input those in the setting page. And then you can press send. And this would be the graphic data and the information that's sent to your physician. All the necessary information of your personal data is present on this report so that it could be placed into your medical records.
The report also includes a graphical representation of your pulmonary function over a period of time of your choosing, and it reports all the data points on the graph along with the color associated with your zone color. Next, you can see your current peak flow measurement data of what your color zones coordinate and which numbers they represent. Below that is your specific data points and times and days that they were measured along with your symptom score and your trigger points. This is how your physician can be aware of your asthma status to help you better control your symptoms and improve your quality of life. Thank you again for using AsthmaMD and we wish you best of health.